anthropology, in anthropology, we have seen lot of behavioral changes in mankind. In bioarchaeology of human beings, lot of physical changes are also seen. Some birds having wings, they are not having wings now. Some beings, they did not develop wings, now they are having wings. Lot of people, they are having tails now, which they did not have earlier. Likewise, innumerable physical changes, innumerable behavioral changes due to environment and due to erosion of the genetic lineage that we are seeing in uh, social anthropology as well as genetic anthropology, <coughs> as well we are seeing in bioarchaeology. If you study bioarchaeology, you can see how innumerable differences are there. So, now if you suppress your intelligence, make it mechanically dependent, it will be disused, deactivated, suppressed, eroded, and that will be totally amputated from the system itself after a few generations. So, now we are losing innovativism. Later on, after three generations, creativism will not be there. After nine generations, nobody can have to operate a computer. Because the more you lose, gradually, see, according to futuristic, it is going to happen. So, what we want to say is, the Shastras, they emphasize on cognitive ability. You must move, use more human intelligence. The previous systems used more intelligence. More intelligence without the intervention of tools is impractical now. There are two dangers. We cannot replace the machines by our intelligence now. Thinking to replace the intelligence by machines is idiocy. And thinking to replace the human brain by machines is lunatism. <laughs> there must be a reasonable dimension in which they can coexist like husband and wife. Both the mechanical intelligence as well as the man and his intelligence, they can coincide, they can correlate, not collide with each other, creating the loss of the other at the pretext of development of something. That is very much essential in this convergence. And uh, finally to say, what are the traditional systems for developing knowledge? If a person is uh, sent before a machine or mechanical operation, at least five years, he must be given a cognitive training. Basic cognitive training for three, three things. One is learning skills. How to learn anything. Either it is mathematics or science or anything else. How to learn these things. One. Second is specialized skills. How to go for specialized understandings. Third thing is productive or applied skills. How to go for practical or demonstrative skills. At least five years, starting from the age, I told about <coughs> the age of synaptic pruning, wherein by the brain structure, naturally that invites more knowledge. It disintegrates and converts everything into neurons or neuronics, NYX. So it is a message that is very easily imbibed inside the brain and that happens only in the impressionable age. Yesterday I told that. So a separate system of learning must be introduced in the society where, see, if you are given a machine and also given a compulsion for learning, nobody will be interested in learning at all. If the machine can do anything for you and if it reduces your risk, nobody will be interested in learning. So five years, they must be put in a no machine or no technology zone. And they must be given some set of knowledge by which, number one, they can handle themselves. Number two, they can handle other members of the society. They can handle effectively the machines by which they don't lose their personal handling and social handling. And I wish that should happen. And I am free for questions. Narayana, Narayana.